I want everyone to buckle up. But we're going to take the journey, the long journey to the next American world. When we get there, I want you to take a look around. Would you like a wall to be built there? If not, I'm going to convince you why America needs to build this wall. I will go over walls that worked in the past, the economic benefits that the wall will provide, and how the wall will increase it. So now that we've arrived, now that we have arrived, I want you to take a look around. Would you like a wall to be built here? If not, maybe you're in support of another form of border control. If so, you're not alone, as many believe there are alternative alternative ways for border control, such as motion sensors or drones. However, with motion sensors, there's a high risk of failure. With drones, they uninvitedly increase air traffic. Increased air traffic are extremely expensive and invade the privacy of those living along the border. Let's continue to travel along the border. Now that we have arrived in El Paso, Texas, I'm going to tell you about past walls that work. According to Political Magazine, there is already a wall built in Tijuana, Mexico, built in the 1990s by the U.S. government. Before this wall was built, Tijuana was completely uh, reliant on the illegal immigration into the United States. Hundreds upon hundreds of uh, people every single day would travel to Tijuana in order to travel into the United States. The, the economy of this city was entirely based on illegal immigration. It was often called the Wild West due to its reliance on immigrant smuggling. However, once this all was built, Tijuana was transformed from a city reliant on booze and drugs to a community full of opera and high quality Baja Med cuisine. In nearby San Diego, border apprehensions dropped from half a million in 1994 to just 26,000 in 2017. However, these walls are not only on the Mexican American border. According to, according to, in, there, are approximately, there were approximately 15 walls built in 1989. However, since then, with a huge increase after 9 11, there are now approximately 77 border walls throughout the entire world. These countries have taken the initiative to secure their border with the wall. America is actually late to the show. Let's keep on traveling west. Now that we've arrived in Columbus, New Mexico, I'm going to tell you about the financial benefits that the wall would provide for our taxpayers. While the wall would be expensive, according to the Center for Immigration Studies, or CSI for short, this, the wall may actually save money for the American taxpayer in the long run. While the wall would cost a massive 12 to $15 billion, the probability that it lowers taxes are very high. This study, which takes into account research, this study, which takes into account research done by the Academies, National Academies of Engineering, Sciences, and Medication, determined that the average taxpayer will have a net fiscal burden of approximately $74,722 per illegal immigrant. This price does not even include the cost of the illegal immigrants' children, which makes it a lot higher. The wall would have to stop just 160,000 to 200,000 of illegal migrant crossovers over the next year to afford the wall. That's just 9 to 12 percent of expected illegal immigration that crossing over the border in the next 10 years. In other words, for every 100,000 illegal immigrants the wall stops, it will save the American taxpayer, American taxpayers approximately $7.5 billion. Does that not sound like a good deal for your wallet? As high schoolers, many of you have already started to pay our nation's taxes. If not, you soon will. Would you rather your money go towards making your lives better? Or toward an Let's keep on traveling west. Now that we have arrived in San Diego, California, I am going to tell you how the wall would make it safer for those protecting our border. According to Border Control agent Terrence Shea, he believes that the wall would allow him to leave his job safe. Uh, he also he also said that in areas that already had a border wall built, crime has dropped substantially. According to the San Diego Tribune, here in San Diego. Crime is at the lowest it's been in 50 years. According to the same source, arrests at the border have dropped to the lowest in 37 years. According to the Washington Times, 89% of border control agents are in favor of the wall. How are we to judge if we need a wall if we have not been to the border before? These agents are the ones working on the border every single day. They are the ones that are endangering their lives in order to protect our border. They see the benefits that a wall would provide, and they are very much in favor. Now that our journey is over, before we head home, let's do a quick recap. First, we traveled to El Paso, Texas, where we discussed how the wall 
uh, how past laws have worked around the world. Then we traveled to Columbus, New Mexico, where we discussed the financial benefits that would, that would allow the American taxpayers to save money in the long term. Then we traveled to San Diego, California, where we learned about how the wall would increase safety for the border control agents. Throughout the entire country, so, throughout the entire country, those who support and those who are against the wall are extremely passionate about their ideas. However, we need to put our differences aside, and regardless of whether we build the wall, we need to come together to build a stronger area. Thank you.